please tell me why the man, the veer that he was, his philosophy, his ideology, why he continues to be relevant even in today's day and time? Well, he was a, uh, he's very relevant today because uh, he looked at uh, India as a civilization. He looked at India as a cultural unit, as um, Akhand Bharat, as he used to say. And India's position in the world today has grown not only because of diplomacy, but because we are armed to the teeth. It's only being armed that there can be peace. Otherwise, people will keep bullying you. And I think the Indian, uh, um, uh, India as a country today is armed and it's respected in the world and there is peace because we are armed and that was uh, Mr. Savarkar's philosophy and his philosophy on Hindutva was all encompassing ki desh dharam se upar hota hai aur sindhu nadi se sindhu sagar tak jo bhi yahan rehte hain wo isko jo bhi isko apne purvajon ki zameen matlab apne uh, pitrabhu purvajon ki zameen uh, matrabhumi yahan ki sanskriti tyohar khan paan ko apna mante hain wo hindu hain chahe wo kisi bhi dharam jat ya samaj ke kyun na ho so i think his idea of uniting India as a society, as a country, was the most unifying. And I think that's what we are following today. We are trying to unify the country, where we put, put country before religion. This man has internalized the character to, to another level, to another degree.